Dr. Bhalla to address this because there are two aspects. One, let's assume you've got three to four lakh crore rupees of black money in the bank. You don't know how much of that your income tax department will be able to catch. A lot of people will get away turning that black into white. Secondly, you haven't fundamentally addressed the generation of black money in the economy. Everyone who had a certain cash component, you just heard from a whole bunch of industrialists saying that that cash component is back to pre-demo levels, suggesting that the generation of black money still continues. The cash is back to pre-demo level. I will address in a minute. Um, you know, you have to be very careful from whence the opinion is coming. Those people who have been hurt by the system, by the demonetization, have, if you will, a vested interest in saying things haven't worked. So let's just look at the numbers. Therefore, no vested interest. First, the distinction between black income and black wealth. Absolutely correct what Arun is saying. However, no one but no one in the world ever said that demonetization would attack black wealth. Black wealth is already in assets. So therefore, there is you know, absolutely irrelevant what is the story of black wealth. It's like saying demonetization was meant to make the growth rate 10%, eliminate black wealth to zero, eliminate black income to zero, and all of us will live happily ever after. Now, come on. We can't have everything in the world being attributed that the black, that demonetization would solve. So therefore, black wealth, though I think, you know, uh, it's an important concept, etc., absolutely irrelevant for this discussion and for any discussion about demonetization. Second, this thing about, you know, cash has come back to earlier levels. Let me now, you know, as it happens, uh, we do have data on cash usage, non-cash usage, etc. And it turns out, if I take the 2014 to 16 average before DEMON, and I'm taking the average from January to August for 2014, 2015, 2016, that's before DEMON, and now is post DEMON. Take in terms of um, cash at ATMs, how much you withdraw. That was growing at 16%, and now it's down 8%, okay? But wait a second, let's now look at credit cards, credit and debit cards, excluding the cash. You can use your credit card to get cash out, I'm excluding that. That was growing at 30%. This year, 83%, and you're telling me cash is back. Oh, fantastic. Now let's take cards and mobile. Credit cards, debit cards, and mobile, and PPD and all the rest. That was growing very healthily at 50%. This year, January to August, it's 122%. So I'm afraid, you know, please, let's just get real. Let's look at the numbers. Let's not throw away any statistics. Be careful. You know, there was another one that people are compared on job losses. I hope we get to that. Where CMI... We get to that separately.